Welcome, in front of me is a Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 and today I will show you how to bypass the Google verification screen. So to start off, we will need to connect to Wi-Fi. So go to the setup process as you normally do till we get to this point. So as you can see, I'm already connected to network. So once you are, you have to then scroll down from the network list and you will see at the bottom add network. So you have to tap on that. You'll have the SSID field. So you want to tap here and type in youtube.com. So youtube.com like so. Then select it and tap on these like two circular kind of chain looking icon right here. Okay, and we're now in YouTube. Need to be on a search for hard reset info. And then tap on whichever link from the channel. In the channel, you will see a link to a website in the description, as you can see right here. So, or do we set that info? Stop on that link and choose browser. I'll just agree and continue. And we're now in the browser on the website. So from here, tap on the three bars to gain access to the menu and choose download. From the download field, you want to search for Android 8. Like so, let's just search. Scroll down and tap on the download button. And again, scroll down and once more, tap on the download. And allow. And OK. You'll see starting download. And soon after, it should see. There we go, download successful. Tap to open. There we go. So from here, tap on the application so we can install it. You will get immediately blocked by browser that you don't have permission so you need to tap on the settings and then enable it and just go back and now you should be able to install it no problem okay cool allow give it a moment it's scanning and now you can open it so once you open it you have the two buttons now the first thing we want to do is uh, google account manager apk install Stop on that and choose for version 6.0 and same premise we need to go into settings enable this go back and then install with the difference that this time we don't need to open it we can just go back and it will take us back to the um, frp bypass app so once that's installed then you want to tap on the bypass frp and choose browser sign in and again tap on the three dots here and choose browser sign in tap on ok and you should now see Google. So from here, we can put in a email address that we wish to use. Um, now we can also create one, as you can see, I would probably advise to do it on a computer instead of on here. Um, but yeah, you can use an existing one, create one for this purpose. It doesn't really matter, just as long as you have an account that you can put in here, which I do, so I'm gonna use that one. And let's stop on next and then i'm gonna put in the password but before i do you can pay attention to the uh, email address so it's hard reset info one and it's going to be the email address that later on should be visible as a account added in a field that normally before would be verify your account uh, this will appear as uh, account added even though i would i will not add anything past this point so let me just put in password really quickly Okay, then you can see it's signing in. Once it's signed in, it takes you back to the app and we're primarily done with the app. So we can now hold power key and choose reboot. Okay, so you can see we're automatically connected. Let's just proceed on again. Let's agree again. Skip this step, let's go further. 
So normally this is the point where Google would show us that you need to verify your account. Just don't copy. And there we go. So you can see account added. I have not added anything at the at this point. And it says hard reset info one. And that's the account that I have added in the previous before we rebooted the device. So you should see the same thing. Uh, although your email should be different. So then we can just tap on next and proceed with the setup. Now at this point, you just want to get access to the home screen. So it doesn't really matter what you choose right here. Just go through it really quickly. So we can go into the settings on the home screen. Just skip this. So as you can see, we're now on the home screen, but the process isn't finished just yet. So from here, let's go into the settings, scroll all the way down, and we're gonna go into, where is it? Probably additional settings, let's see. Um, I'm gonna just search for it. Backup and reset, there we go. So that's what we're looking for. And from here... Hmm, there we go, at the bottom you have erase all data, factory reset. So tap on that. All files on the phone. There we go. So at the bottom and we need to wait about 20 seconds 10 seconds for this message and 20 and another 10 seconds for another there we go it just gives you a warning that basically performing this operation will remove all the data from the device uh, that includes also uh, your account that we have added but what it doesn't say it also removes the account that was previously on the device as well so the account that was previously blocking us and uh, uh, and we needed to verify will now be completely removed and the device will be completely clean of any kind of leftover from the previous user. So this will take probably several minutes, so I'll be back once the setup screen is visible again. Okay, so as you can see, now we're done with the reset, so we can proceed with the setup. Now this time uh, this time around, you can set up your device as however you like. The device is fully unlocked, so we can log in to your Google, uh, no problem, or you can just completely skip uh, the Wi-Fi connections and stuff like that, which I will do. So let's start off by choosing a language. I can see skip, there we go, boom. That will also kind of speed up the setup process. Skip the skip. And as you can see, now the process is finished and the device is fully unlocked now. So that is how you would bypass the Google verification screen. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.